What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to be showing off my top play for the North American International Championships in this stream VOD video. This is Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX featuring Jolteon, GX, and Order Pads, or as I like to call it, Pika Pads. So, check it out. Here's the deck I would play. If I was going to North American International Championships, it would be this exact 60. I would spend this week testing. I might swap that Viridian for like one thing if I can figure out a card that I want more than Viridian. This is probably the weakest link in the deck right now. Like it might, uh, might be better off being something else. But I absolutely love everything else about this deck. I could see playing one more multi-switch potentially. I think that helps with getting like the turn one, uh, turn one full blitz, which can be really good. So, I think that, uh, yeah. Also, I really like the amount of supporters in this deck. I'm not really going to negotiate on that. I really like eight supporters, uh, draw supporters. It really helps since you are an aggressive let loose deck. You really want to find those supporters off of your own let looses. And when you don't, you can just lose the game very quickly. So, I think that uh, some sort of peek a box deck could be very good. I could see also throwing another... A uh, couple copies of um, a couple copies of Zapdos in here. I could see just like maybe throwing another Zapdos or so in the deck. Zapdos is really good. Uh, I don't necessarily like changing the list to rely on Jirachi though, just because you really do weaken your Zorark matchup by doing that because of your deck's inherent reliance on the um, Jirachi engine. Also, I feel like you have a just a quicker time getting your Coco Prism Star out and things like that and taking advantage of that. Looks like we're playing against Blacephalon here. They're going to be going first. That's fine. We've got uh, an opening hand, Cynthia, Order Pad, Nest Ball. That's all good. Hey, free win. Told you. Just needed, just needed to play Pika Pads and we were going to be Building ourselves a little win streak here. That's nice. Excellent. Thanks for the win. I appreciate you. Excellent stuff. Yes. Ultra Lego. Yeah. The energy spinner is actually insane in this deck because a lot of times on turn one, you have a hand with maybe some ultra balls or some... Uh, some Ultra Balls or some Electromagnetic Radars, things like that in your opening hand, but you have no energy. And even if you're going second, like you flip a heads on an order pad, now you've got three energy in your hand. And you can just get those explosive starts that you want. Jolteon GX, I actually, I just love that card as well. Whether I would be playing a Zapdos deck or a Picaram deck or maybe some combination of both, uh, going to NAIC, I would absolutely 100% play Jolteon GX in my deck. I think it is just one of the strongest cards in standard format right now. And it is the strongest, I'm just going to go out and say it, just, it is the best GX attack for this deck against the largest array of matchups. Swift Run GX is good against almost everything. So I find myself using that, you know, all the time in this deck. So let's uh, see what we got going on here. Playing against a Malamar deck, that's fine. I don't really want to Ultra Ball away two Lightnings before I take a look at the deck yet uh, make sure that my Coco Prism Star is in the deck but it is cool never punished that's great and uh, we also prized our Eevee Jolteon come on now that's not what you're supposed to do it's fine though we can just go get Pikachu Zekrom Tag Team GX or Zero Aura and just go from there probably just get the peek around attach the energy to the active um, I'm fine just throwing the Viridian down. It's in the deck, Cynthia. And, yeah, we do give them access to an energy card there, but it's fine. You know, sometimes you wish that you had just attached to the Picaram. It's cool. His hand's not turbo great, but uh, we will persevere. We can use the energy spinner just to thin our card, thin our deck one card there. Maybe help with our top deck action. And uh, there we go. All right. Pass it on to them. But yes, 
this is uh, one of the reasons why I'm so high on needing lots of supporter cards because you really do want as many outs to draw as you can. One of the biggest reasons that you might lose a game is just because you didn't draw anything. So being able to always have that option to draw your cards is extremely valuable. Let's see what we got going on here with the energy on the Dene. I'm not like super into the way that this hand is shaped up. We obviously can Tingly Return GX. I do not want to Tingly Return GX, period. So see if we can figure out maybe another route here. Um, I don't mind Static Shock for 50. I think that's probably okay. Attached to the Picaram, Static Shock, the active for 80 and knock it out. They probably aren't going to return, you know, they probably aren't attacking me next turn. Yeah, let's let's go. I'm into it. And we'll E-Power, knock out the NK. And just give me the old Static Shock. Sure. It's good. Got Field Blower, Guzma. Hopefully, I mean, cross our fingers. Maybe they won't counter our Thunder Mountain. That would be very good. Dugong. I'm cool with that being Dugong. That is, like, totally fine with me. They cannot possibly summon an attack up here with the, just an Inke. And if they just don't counter my Thunder Mountain, please, please don't counter my Thunder Mountain. I'm going to have a turn two, or turn three, mind you. Guzma full blitz, which is fine. I got another peek around here on my bench, and we should be able to kind of uh, balance things out here. They do have the Drift Blim in this deck, which uses that damage transport to help against, uh, whew, okay. Help against, uh, you know, the old uh, wheezing decks there. So let's see, they got one Malamar, they got to Dene GX. I'm really stoked to see that to Dene GX, honestly, on that side of the field. That'd be fine with me. And then they have to hit energy and a switch. Oh, well. They almost. Ah, they're going to hit me for 60. All right, tail whap. Okay. I'm fine with that. Also, no counter on my stadium. Let's go. We can actually knock out the Dedene GX, but I'm not even trying to. I would rather, honestly, take out the Malamar. It just seems like a stronger play. So let's... Uh, it's time to bench another Pikachu Zekrom. Now, we could just go pure alpha, load them all on the top, just be like, you know what? You're going to have to, in addition to finding some Inkays next turn, you're also going to have to find a... Uh, I think I do that. I think I do just load them all on the front. Yeah. Yeah, just pure alpha. They ain't, they ain't got... What? They're going to dual blizzard me? That's that's fine. So, yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just go here. Full Blitz take our prize, and uh, we're all in, fellas. Load the boy. <laughs> Load the boy. I agree, Zig. We're on the same wavelength here. And there's my man, Electromagnetic Radar. That'll pull me right on out of this. It'll be just fine. So the thought here is like, yeah, I already knew you probably played the Mew. I probably knew that. But I wanted to force them to find it if that makes any sense, right? Like, I force you to not only find more Inkes, but also your Mew. So, that's, like, fine for me. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to Tag Bolt. It's fine. You never get to Tag Bolt. But now that we've got this electromagnetic radar, we can actually just use that and find another Dedenne GX and then hopefully find some energy switches off of that and then just maneuver these energies off to someone else here. Maybe a Jolteon GX or something like that. That's kind of what I'm feeling. The Dedenne GX having 120 damage on it. Oh, Ultra Ball. Man, now I get all this hotness, right? That's uh, that's kind of cool. Let's see, let's see what we can do. So, I don't actually know that the Dedenne GX is in my deck, so I kind of want to um, I guess be careful with that. Oh, what's up, Dankus? Thank you, Dankus. You rock, my man. I appreciate you. So, I think I want to play the Electro Power 
and I'm going to electromagnetic radar, probably the field blower and the picarom. You could go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess the picarom is like a good option to have, but honestly, I would rather like swift run or I could tingly return GX. That'd be pretty busted actually to tingly return GX for knockout. I'm on 80 right now. I am nowhere near a knockout, but it's cool. We're going to get rid of yeah, I say, you know what, if that other Dedenne is prized, I had just lost that game. It's cool, though. We're not prized. So we can get the Zera Aura, and then, oh, they're scooping. They're scooping. Scooping. I was going to hit Guzma Tingly Return, bro. I was going to hit Guzma Tingly Return. You were going to you were gonna lose. All right, uh, 2 with Pika Pads. Let's go. That's fine. <laughs> We are about to draw the gas there. It was going to be insane. Uh, I was I was convinced. I was going to hit Guzma. That's right. That's right, Pablo. We got the pads. What's going on, Pablo? How you doing, man? I saw that uh, a Jirachi Picaram deck won, what, the Santiago Regional Championships last week, which was very cool. But I've been looking at those decks, man. I think... I'm not sure if I even call them Picaram decks, man. Those are some Zapdos decks. You got three Zapdos on board. You might just be a Zapdos deck. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Nine hours of coaching. Nine hours of coaching. I do think uh, now that I've been like spending a little bit more time looking and like kind of analyzing those decks, I do think they uh, they probably just play more like Zapdos decks, which I think gives them uh, you know very strong placing in the metagame. Uh, going into Nats. It's kind of like a Zapdos deck that also can tag bolt, right? <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And it was nice to see uh, nice to see that deck do so well at uh, Santiago. This is a great starting hand for us. So let's get right on into it. We've got Tapu Koko Prism Stars in the deck. That's great. Do we have... No, Eevee still missing in action. That's fine. And let's see what we got going on here. We got Ultra Ball away. The thing that makes me nervous about playing a... Uh, thing that makes me nervous about playing a deck like that is, honestly, like Zorark and like Muck kind of shutting down the whole engine. That's that's really all that, that makes me nervous about it. But I like the versatility of... I like the versatility of it as opposed to a traditional Zapdos deck. So I do think that that is really cool, and the extra firepower is, like, really nice. So I do have to say that I think that the extra firepower it brings to the Zapdos archetype is, like, really good, but that uh, Muck definitely sketches me out. So let's see what we got going on here. I've got a lot of supporter cards. We can go energy on the Zero Aura. Could Ultra Ball for something else. And could just like let loose them turn one. I don't honestly know what they got going on. But I don't like, I'm not like in love with that hand. So I think a turn one let loose could be fine. And it'll probably punish them more than it punishes us, right? Right. Yeah, we'll probably be fine. Hey, take it easy, man. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah, we got a hot nothing there. Off of the... Uh... That's cool. Um... All right, good. The let loose always seems like a good idea. But, like I said, I mean, we did ditch two supporters there to pull off the let loose. So, that was super sad there. Let's see. They are looking like they're probably playing the... Ooh. They're playing, like, the Zapdos, Picaram, Jirachi list here. So, they're going to have a pretty explosive start. I just didn't really want to Dedenne away that hand. Oh, thank you so much, Pablo, for those bits, man. I appreciate it. Oh, when the let loose hurts you and you get a handful of energy, feels bad, man. It's cool, though. 
we got to just hang in there and just uh, wait patiently for our top deck. Getting rid of the two supporters to go for the let loose there probably should have just been more patient and said, you know what, like just wait, see what your opponent has, and just respond to what they do. I think that that was probably a little bit too preemptive of me. They are going to get a turn one Tapu Koko Prism Star as well. It looks like they're actually going to get the Coco GX into play. So they could actually whisk that Coco GX into the active position on turn one, which would be kind of crazy. Or they could just hit one of my benched guys here. Yeah, Mitch Master for sure. We're going to be testing Worlds Format uh, soon. I mean, that's not going to be available on PTCGO for a little while, but... And they got a turn one Zapdos, Guzma. That's a pretty strong play from them, not going to lie. Now, what I realized there is that I probably should have retreated into the Marshadow and just gone with... Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's go. All right, I'm looking for an energy switch. Ideally, I don't... Oh, I played that Viridian down this turn. Oh, we need an energy switch then. That's the only way out of this. Busted deck. Okay. Got the energy switch. So we're going to be knocking out the Zapdos and leaving them with one energy. So that's, like, good. And I know that they have the. I know that they got the Coco GX in hand. So they could theoretically Coco GX this thing. But if they do, I do have a response to it. They've used their Coco Prism Star. We both have. But if you look at our board positions, we both used Coco Prism Star. But my board is like. I got more energy on it than they do. So. Their ideal turn here is to full... If they can, like, full blitz knock out my Picaram, that's insane. I mean, they need to have their Thunder Mountain Prism Star. They need multiple damage buffs and the energy that they're about to get here off the Viridian. But alternatively, they dig for the Thunder Mountain and just knock out my Picaram with a Thunder Mountain... Uh, Tapu Koko GX. So, if they do that, I think I still win the game, though. Because I will just knock out their Tapu Koko GX and both of their energies with my Zero Aura GX, and then they have no energy in play, and they've used their Coco Prism Star. But it looks like they are going to be potentially going in with the tag. No, they have nothing. Yes, let's go. All right, so we are uh, we're a little bit safe here. We got a turn to kind of work things out. I don't want to give them the Thunder Mountain at all, but I could Tag Bolt for three prizes here, potentially. I don't really want to do that though, because I would rather get a, uh, I'd rather get like a juicier Tag Bolt, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I don't really need any of these cards. Let's just Cynthia and see what we re-roll into here. Nothing good. So, I think I retreat and I just hit with Zara Aura. I attached to the Pikachu and Zekrom retreat, hit with Zara Aura here. That makes the most sense. Plasma Fist for Knockout. Okay. That's fine. We've got Zapdos. They got a Jirachi. You know, if they go Energy Guzma, Tag Bolt my... Um, so long as they don't full blitz my Picaram for Knockout, I should still be fine. Because I think, like, I'm very close to being able to knock them out with my Zara Aura. So I can actually respond to this uh, Picaram. Now, what I think that they'll do is they could, I know that they probably have access to Guzma, and they could just Guzma and Tapu Koko GX my Picaram, 
if they do that, I still get to knock all their energy out of play. But let's see what they got. They do have... What? Oh, and they're going to full blitz to their... No way! He's got three electro power in that hand. That's it. Oh my gosh. That was the sauce. Oh my gosh. What an insane play. Okay. That was literally, that was the one play. They, I didn't think they had that. Three electro powers in that hand. What in the world are we doing? Okay. Sure. That's fine. Let's uh let's see what we got going on here. Now I can theoretically knock out this Picaron with my Zero Aura here. I don't want to put any more energy in play. So I don't think giving them the Thunder Mountain helps. me at all or helps them at all so we're probably cool to do that at this point like what's the worst that could happen right cool all right i don't think this matters either play that and let's cynthia see what we get okay so we can respond to this guy and we can let loose him he played his hand down i think he's down Three E powers. So we should just be clear to pretty much win unless he's got E power choice band, his final E power and choice band to win the game. He ain't got it like that. He ain't got it like that, chat. Not like that. That's good. I like this hand. All right, so we're doing plus 60. That'll do it, right? Let me do some math real quick. 160 plus, no, oh, plus 90. Yeah, 250. Yeah, we're in there. Okay. The rest of this hand looks pretty good. Plasma fist. Okay. Chat, hold your horses. Okay. Hold your horses, chat. All right. I mean, if he's got it like that, like, you need your fun. You just unloaded your whole deck to make that play happen. So. I would be uh, pretty, I mean, he could just, I mean, I guess Volkner gets him half of it. And this deck does play a lot of Volkners. He also needs a switch card, though. So, I think that... With the nest ball hit there, I have to imagine he ain't got it. That doesn't seem like the game-winning card to me. I feel like it would have Volkner or Electro Power, and I'm scared. A nest ball, I'm cool, man. Unless he's got energy, energy switch, switch. Dude, this dude's got it. What a legend. What a legend. He's got it. I should not have put this down. Not in a million years. Oh, not the let loose. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my gosh. Just throw it down. Just go ahead. Electro power, dude. Show it to energy switch. Dude. <laughs> yes, yes. Dude, get wrecked, bro. You don't have it. Do you have energy switch? Quit play with, yes, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, bring them out, dude. One prize remaining, Plasma Fist. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Pika Pads OP, bro. OP deck. We were out there just getting pushed around by that deck. Just out getting bullied. We survived the triple. Dude, we got triple electro power 
full blitz for knockout, and we still got there. Let's go, chat. Let's go. I told you. Pika Pad's invincible deck, bro. Invincible deck. What's up, KK Swizzle? Let's see what you got going on with this fire deck got going on over there. Pika Pads. I told you. So get me some Pika Pads. I'm having a great time, honestly. Now, uh, I am excited to kind of dive into next format as well. I know a lot of you guys probably are too, which is really interesting, right? So the North American International Championships will be the last big event for this current standard format that we're rocking in. That's honestly one of my favorite things about the Pokemon trading card game. My favorite thing about uh, this game in general is the fact that rotation happens, right? I love it because it keeps the game fresh, it keeps players innovative, the, uh, the game is always changing, there's always new stuff to talk about, new decks to try out. It's one of my favorite things about the game, and uh, honestly, my favorite part about playing Pokemon is making new decks, so it's definitely something that I am looking forward to. Let's see what we got here, order up, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Energy Spinner seems like a safe bet, just to go get, uh, Get some energy into play. Yeah, I'm into it. Then we can Nest Ball. Probably I'm going to get that Tapu Koko Prism Star too. And Energy Spinner. They play like approximately zero stadiums in that deck. So I feel pretty comfortable. Just, oof. And I guess the Zero Aura will be able to retreat into whoever. We're going to do that. And then, uh, yep, Lily for six. We've got no um, hmm. Yeah, I think we live a little, right? Zapdos. Choice pin on the Zero Aura. Let them loose. Let's go. Yeah, we're living. We out here. You started Reshiram, Charizard. You're getting let loose turn one, buddy. That's what you got going on right there. And then, this is tough. I feel like I do the Electromagnetic Radar next turn because then I can discard an energy and go from there. So I think we just retreat into Marshadow and pass. That seems like the safest bet to me, so we're going to do that. And uh, go ahead. You got it. So we'll see what they do if, uh, you know, what we're going to have is our option next turn. We can just hit this dude for a ton of damage with our Zero Aura. Turn two, we've got uh, Energy Energy Switch, and if that Thunder Mountain sticks, which I suspect that it will, since a lot of these Rush Ram Charizard decks are only playing one stadium, should just stick for a while, and uh, we can... Go up, Plasma Fist for 190, or at least a lot. And you notice, don't have Pika-Rom out yet. That's actually fine, it's kind of by design. It's okay, because Pika-Rom's just a big liability in this matchup. Like maybe we pivot to Pika-Rom eventually, but we might also not. It's kind of kind of the, the wave here. So the day-day change, that is fine by me. Acro bike. And we'll see what they're looking at here for their first turn. Are they going to end on a Kiawe? They actually got rid of their Lele with that Dede change. So I'm thinking that, hmm, got a kink in my neck. Yikes. They do have Kiawe. So they actually end up with Kiawe. They may end up just doing the whole Kiawe thing which I'm fine with, because that gives me an opportunity to find Guzma here. A um, little bit tough, though, because I do have the electromagnetic radar in my hand right now, so I would love to, you know, I would love to know that I'm getting the Guzma so that I could electromagnetic radar for the Coco GX and just go for it. But I don't really think that that's what uh, what's going to be happening here. We'll see. Hitting a Guzma would be extremely good, though. For sure. As it uh, always is against Rush Ram Charizard. That's like kind of the 
the primo play. Now they don't have an attachment from hand. They're going straight for the Kiawe. So the odds of me knocking out this dude turn two here are pretty low. I'd have to find three damage buffs and a Guzma. And a and they're only gonna load three. They scared, bro. KK Swizzle. You a little you a little scared, aren't you? A little scared of what the rock's cooking over here. I don't blame you. I don't blame you for that. Okay, so we could just go knock out Hmm. I think we could probably go here. Retreat into Zapdos. I think I like Retreat into Zapdos, Energy Switch to like one of my Zero Auras or something, and then to Dene. Uh, and that way I could like potentially hit a Guzma off the Dedenne and go from there, which would be pretty big. Um, that or I just go Cynthia and say, all right, I'm going to like look to just build up my board a little bit more. I do kind of want to get, I didn't really want an electromagnetic radar or anything in this hand. I could electromagnetic radar, I could just Dedenne the hand, which is fine as well. I think I'm going to retreat into the Zapdos. Energy switch this over to here and then we either Dedenne or Cynthia I think at this point yeah I am just in the Cynthia so that that's fine this is all part of the game plan for us anyway because we are looking to knock out a Jirachi a, a Reshazard and the Dedenne that's like that's that's the game plan right there so Leaning on this Thunder Mountain, forcing them to Guzma this turn. Now, if they do Guzma and knock out one of my Zara Auras, I have the option to clap back with, um, you know, my Tapu Koko GX. I could go find the Tapu Koko GX and do that, which would be pretty good. So let's see what we got here. This is really the main thing that we have to worry about knocking out. I don't really like having my Coco Prism Star all exposed like this. You know, they do have the Guzma. I kind of anticipated this coming. That's totally fine. We can accelerate that energy back into play. We have a decent shot of being able to knock this thing out this turn. I got an Electro Power in my hand. So, if we do knock this guy out, we pretty much win the game. I think they'll have a very hard time responding. So they are going, that's pretty intelligent. They're going to let loose and knock out the Zero Aura to try and keep me from finding the cards I need to knock this big boy out. But we've got a pretty gas hand here. Starting off with the Tapu Koko GX, we can come screaming in with that guy and Electro Power before we did Dene GX. So that's like looking pretty good here. And I feel pretty comfortable going with the, yeah, I feel pretty comfortable going with this because I could always retreat in Zapdos if I wanted to. So let's, um, yeah, let's dance to the ancients. Cool. Ultra Ball. Get that Coco GX. You're taking all the energy to you, my man. Arrow Trail. Yeah, Uno, Dos, Tres, Cuatro, Cinco, Cinco, Seis. There you go. Electro Power, Data Change. All right, here we go. And uh, let's go, chat. Let's go. And then uh, we could just let loose them. How about that? I'm into it. Yeah, give them a little taste. How's that feel? Let's get it. Okay. And uh, let them loose. Boom.
And we've got a lily here, so we're going to be able to draw some cards too. It's great. Order up. And a lily for four. We've got a lightning and some energy switches, so that's really good. Uh, I'm going to be able to just keep that energy in play here on the Zero Aura and Tappy Thunder GX for knockout. Skirt! 290 damage. And we are two prizes away from winning this game. I've got Guzma in hand. It's 160 damage on a bench to Dene GX. And so long as they don't have their GX on my Tapu Koko, as long as they don't bench Restorzard and GX it this turn, I should be able to win this game. So let's see here what they can cook up. Can they whip up a knockout to this Coco GX? And thank you, J-Car and Tug of War and T Woods for those bits. Awesome. You guys are on the board. Top bit donators of the week. Thank you guys so much for the generosity. Let's see, they got the nest ball. Do they have the welder? They scoop it up. All right, Case Whistle. GG's, man. GG's. That's all, dude. Busted Pika Pads. Getting in there. 4 0 win streak. See how we had such a hard time winning with those other decks. I'm telling you, dude. I would play this list card for card. Card for card at NAIC. No questions asked. The deck can do anything. It's incredible. Uh, I do really love that, uh, you know, that you can kind of rely on. You can rely on any of your different attackers. Zero Aura is an incredible attacker. You can rely on Jolteon. You can rely on Pikaram if you want to. Zeely, thank you so much for those 100 bits, man. And yes, it is, Carl. I'll, I'll show it to you. I showed it off here before I got started. But uh, definitely, definitely, I uh, would love nothing more than for someone to play this deck and have a killer run at NAIC. So I'm making this list as public as possible. <laughs> Dude, that's what's up, Carl. You down? You down for the for the pads, bro? Let's let's go. Uh, I'm into that. Take it easy, Dami. All right, we're going first. Let's see what we got going on here. In this matchup, they got a Dedene. We got Thunder Mountain, Eevee. Okay, let's see. Uh, I kind of like everything else in this hand. Don't really want to get rid of it. So I uh, could electromagnetic radar. Away the field blower and the ultra ball. But like Good old Marks. What's up? Thank you, good old Marks, for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Enjoy all your new emotes. Awesome stuff. I also uh is this a Reshazard deck? Hmm. Yeah, I don't really feel like playing this hand down, so we're just gonna Cynthia. Hello. Doob Snacks. Oh, is that you, Kirk? Thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. For the sub, using your Twitch Prime sub on me. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Let's see. So I could let loose turn one. I could nest ball for some things. I don't have an energy yet, so we are actually actively looking for one of those. Yeah, it's kind of sketch. So it's looking like you are going to get let loose here turn one because I don't want to not have an energy attachment for turn. That just is actually bad. So, hmm. I don't know. If I let loose and draw dead, I'm going to I'm going to be a little salty. So, we've already got the EV in play. Let's just keep it chill here. We're going to get Zapdos. You never know. Yeah, maybe we go Zapdos. I don't know. And then we're going to let loose to 4 and see what we get there. That's a fine hand. Now we've got two chances to find a turn one energy attachment. Let's go. Come on. All right. Third time's the charm, right? Busted card. Love that card. Okay, that's fine. We'll get him next turn. We'll get him next turn. Oh, for three on order pads. Who needs them? Not me. We're fine. We would have gone for the the fidget spinner. We would have gotten the fidget spinner. It would have been great, right? Would have been great. That would have been great. The hope here is that they don't really get anything going on off of my Let Loose, and uh, we can carry on and maybe find some energies now that we've got all those nasty order pads out of the deck and uh, can do some sweet things. Do you have a Reshiram Charizard? T 
to Kiawe too? Oh, it looks like they do. They're going to play their hand down to zero. And then Kiawe to a Reshiram. Whoa, a Rainbow Rare Reshiram and Charizard GX. So that is good news for me because that means if I can just attack with Zapdos, like I just need to get this dude into the active. Thank you, deck. Appreciate it. If I can just get that Zapdos into the active position to perform an attack, we're going to be Gucci. All right, so let's... Honestly, benching peek around this matchup is like super duper sketch. But uh, yeah, it, it's sketch, so I'm not going to. All right, Cynthia. Energy switch first card that feels good. Also got the Thunder Mountain, so that feels even better. I'm into it. We can Electromagnetic Radar as well. I think I'm just going to retreat into the Zapdos here and probably lay down that Thunder Mountain. Odds of them top decking their stadium pretty low here. So I think we just keep the energy in play and just go from there. Yep, Thunder's self for knockout. They're going to have to bring up that Charizard. And when they do bring up Charizard, we have a pretty decent opportunity to be able to just punish them with our Tapu Koko GX, as I thought. Yes, they are just going to Flare Strike here. Now we've got Energy on board. We've got our Thunder Mountain as well, and it's going to be time to see what we can do. Okay. I could Swift Run. That's kind of a cute idea. Like, odd, okay, honestly, guys, do you think he's got a Guzma? and an energy, and he's got a two-card hand. Do you think it's Guzma energy? I think that it might not be Guzma energy. Okay, so let's uh, let's party a little bit. I mean, we could, we could see, we're at least see, right? All right, let's, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna get this thing, and then we are going to, um, yeah, 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 I kind of like that. We can electromagnetic radar away probably the energy switch and the lily. It's probably fine. And at this point, oh, my Coco's prized. That's fine. Fine. I ain't even stressed about that. I ain't stressed. I ain't stressing. We're cool. Okay, so two. I would need three damage buffs in order to hit him with the Pikachu and Zekrom. So I think we do just... Go get the Picaram though. That feels fine. So we're gonna go get that thing. Yeah, go get that bad boy right out the deck. So we got a Denny. I'm gonna save some bench space. So we're gonna go here. And let's leave for four. See what we got. Okay. One electro power. A field blower. Let's ultra ball this. Do I have an energy in the discard pile yet? So sad. No. We'll get the Coco. It's not really anybody here that I want to use this energy switch on. I'm just going to play the Electro Power. Energy switch to the Picaram. Day day change. Okay. And, uh, yeah. That's fine. Ain't no way he's got Guzma, okay, and Energy in that three-card hand. Ain't no way. Because he didn't have Guzma in the last hand, okay? So we know that. We have that information because he would not have just flare-striked my Zapdos if he did have Guzma. So... I don't think he's got it. I don't think he's got Energy Guzma. He's already used his Dedenne GX, so the odds of him being able to play out of this in a way that punishes my Swift Run is, like, extremely low. And what's cool about this matchup against Rush Ram Charizard is that you guys are getting to see, like, all the different ways you can play the Pikachu Zekrom deck. We prized. Look, there he goes. He's retreated. And he's going to Kiawe again. 
Okay, and we just got Kuzma. Uh, <laughs> I called him Kuzma. Guzma. We got the Guzma in our hand, so we're going to ultimately punish this play. But you guys are seeing just all the different ways you could play the the Pika Box deck, right? Like, Jolteon is an absolute savage. Uh, we kind of just knew that my opponent didn't have the option to play around the Swift Run GX, and we're seeing that we just cornered him here, right, with an early let loose. We bought the the Jirachi, so we knew that his draw would just be absolutely tanked. And now we're about to Guzma that rushes are there and take that right out of the equation. So it's going to be uh, real easy pickings here. And that's game for sure. So I think having the, having the versatility to be able to Swift Run GX, uh, use Tapu Koko GX, all these different GX attacks, right? Let's see, now we just full blitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do it. So, Guzma. Skid it, bro. I know. I'm sorry. Full blitz for knockout. And we're going to throw those energies onto Zera Aura. GX. Sir. And we're down to just a couple prizes remaining here. They got to promote a Dedene GX. Doesn't feel good. Right? Doesn't feel very good here. The cool thing about the Jolteon GX as well is that this card is just vanilla good against every single non-GX deck. Every single non-GX deck that you face, this card is good against. Swift Run GX is just one of the best GX attacks in the game. We've got everything we need here to be able to full blitz this guy for knockout. Oh, oops. Well, thank goodness I didn't. I was overplaying it because I put the choice band on my Marshadow, but you already know what it is. To Denny GX, he's a goner. So, we got it. Excellent. 2-0 on Charizards back-to-back. -back. That feels pretty good for sure. I've always maintained that that match, it, it feels like a mirror, right? It can definitely go either way. But with the way that the Reshiram Charizard decks are built right now, they are built with absolutely no fear of Picaron. They are only playing, they're playing zero choice ban. A lot of them are playing zero choice ban. They are not playing Mew, though I think that that's probably fine, not playing Mew, because you're never going to really get that. What's up, Sean? Thank you so much, Sean. Seven months on board. Sean Lyden, everybody. Thank you so much for the support, my dude. But, uh, yeah, I mean, might as well just run the win streak out until it, uh, you know, until the wheels fall off, right? Tried Dark Box early on. Yeah, couldn't couldn't get behind that. That felt bad. Tried Charizard early on. Couldn't get behind that. And the thing is, I mean, you saw, like, for those of you guys that watched my, uh, my matchup against Pablo, right, uh, when Pablo and I played that Picaron mirror, I mean, basically, he was playing a Zapdos deck with the Wobbuffet in it, right? Which is, like, a pretty hard tech for Picaron. Like, that's that's pretty gnarly card to play against. But it still came down to the final top deck Guzma for, for series, right? Like, I really think that could have gone either way for sure. So to say that that was, like, a 50-50 matchup, like, if Picaron can have a 50-50 matchup against Zapdos, which should be, like, you know, very favored against a Picarom, a designated Picarom deck, then that to me is like pretty strong, right? That's a pretty strong case for Picarom as an archetype. Uh, I think that the deck can be anything that stands in front of it. Honestly, you could beat Charizard decks fine. We're probably not beating the Charizard deck this time though. Look at this hand. Going second. About to get bodied, guys. It's all good. We, we beat two though, so that's fine. Oh yeah, the field blower, that helps. Or is it a Salazzle <laughs> hand deck? Please be a Salazzle hand deck. It's not a Salazzle hand deck, but he has to weld her onto his Salandit turn one. Okay. I like where this is going. Oh, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I don't think I want to give him the Viridian, right? In before he like Salazzle GX's me. Like this is part of his, it's a Salazzle GX deck. I think we have to like, we have to take our opportunity to thin the deck. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
yeah, you got it, Senor Solandit. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Okay. Is it Baby Blounds? How do you know that? How do you know that, JW? How do you know it's Baby Blounds? How do you have all this information that Attila is playing Baby Blounds? They got a Kiawe in there. That ain't no Baby Blounds, dude. You don't use that card in Baby Blounds. Bro, <laughs> let's go. Okay. Surely they'll find a... I present to you Salazzle GX and a big fat I told you so, chat. All right, dude. You have a good deck. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, the win streak, bro. The win streak. Oh, it's melting. Really? A Salazzle GX deck. We went all that way to five wins just to get bodied by a Salazzle GX. Listen. NAIC is best two out of three format. That's why I'm a big advocate of playing all your supporter cards. Play as many supporters as you can in your deck, right? I mean, really, because you're gonna start some dead hands. Even if you've got a big, consistent deck with tons of draw support, like this one, for instance, you're still gonna start a dead hand sometimes, which is extremely sad. Why does my deck do this to me? I don't know, it's fine. I, all I do is love you and take care of you, and you treat me like this, all I do is nurture you. I've raised you from just a young Pikachu. And now, now you treat me like this. You're one step away from the trash can. Thank you so much. Hello, whoa, for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate the support. Hello, whoa. Thank you, thank you. I know. You raise your deck from the bottom. Hey, that's what's up. Thank you, Mulligans. All right. Let's get into this. See, we've got uh, Jolteon is in the deck. That's pretty it's pretty Captain Insano. I'm into it. So let's go get that Jolteon up and rocking. We're going to Energy Evolution. Yeah, yeah. Jolteon, I'm telling you, she's good against everything. We're going to get that. We're going to get a Choice Band probably on the And they're out. They, just, they didn't like what the Jolteon was cooking. And now we're back on another win streak. So that's great. What are we? Six and one with Pika Pads, that's fine. I'll take it. Dude, we had some pretty impressive runs there. We played against a Pikachu Jirachi deck, a Ze uh, Pikaram Jirachi deck, and beat it. We played against two Charizard decks and beat them, and then lost to the Salazzle Turtonator deck. Yup, yeah, mm -hmm. got benched by the Salazzle Turtonator deck. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. Really climactic end to to the busted streak, but uh, I uh, I'm very envious. I got to watch uh, Natalie and Brady. Oh, thank you so much, Sean. Thank you, Sean, gifting the sub there. You rock, man. Thank you so much, Sean, for the love, dude, and the Mimikyu emote. He loves the Mimikyu emote. Excellent. Thank you so much. I was really envious all day. I got to watch uh, Natalie and Brady test for NAIC. Well, Natalie helped Brady test for NAIC, right? And all day I sat and I worked. And now I get to do some testing. This is very fun. Oh my gosh, busted deck, guys. All right, chat. Honestly, honestly, what more do you want from your deck other than this right here? Let's go. All right, so I don't know what they're playing. They've got a, a really goofy looking Slugma there in the active position. That's fine. We'll probably go get Zero Aura. That seems like a safe bet. And then E Powers. I don't really want to play E Powers. So let's let's just not. Let's actually just go for. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's get the Zero Aura. That's, that's probably good. And then we've got another one. Two E-Powers. I mean, this deck, they got Slugma. They probably, I probably don't need those, right? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't need them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just get rid of those. 
That will definitely hurt. I will be punished for that. Uh, mark my words. Definitely getting punished for that. Okay, it's cool though. We're gonna go here. I just like getting the. You know, I'll just like getting Jolteon into play. I like really just like getting Jolteon into play, guys. Can you blame me for that? Don't draw into Jolteon. First, literally first card. Tell me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, JW. Wishing me luck and also hoping that I'm having fun like a good, wholesome friend. I appreciate that, JW. I am doing both. Let's see. We've got a Cynthia here, so we could just play that. I could wait, be very greedy and wait. No, I ain't going to wait, bro. All right. Now, I am not going to... I'm not going to be swayed by your well-played, okay? I'm going to take my time and do what I want. Don't rush me. All right, that's fine. Yeah, we're just going to send you. It's pretty good. Okay, we got some We got some stuff we could do. I'm just going to go ahead and do these things here. Excelente. And, uh, you know, we could really just do whatever we want turn two. I'm digging it. Nest balls, order pads. Yeah, I don't really need to use any of that. I really don't think he's going to attack me turn one, but you know, you, n you never know. So we'll retreat and uh, balls in your court, buddy. Thank you so much for the sub there, JW. You rock, man. Really looking forward to your wedding this weekend. Should be a great time for sure, for sure. Let's see. So this should be some sort of non-GX deck. I mean, I don't really know of any... McCargo deck that is not some sort of weird non GX. This could just be a McCargo deck. Yep, I think we pretty much confirm this is a McCargo deck. Okay, that's fine. They're going to accelerate energy onto their Slugmas and just blow me up with McCargos. Isn't that just great? Order up, chat. Nothing. It's fine. We can knock this thing out with our very own Zapdos. That's a totally appropriate way to go about this. So we're going to Nest Ball. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't need anything off of that, so not going to get anything. And we'll just go there and Cynthia. Leave that bench spot open for a potential let loose, something like that. It's cool. We don't really need to let loose. They ain't got nothing going on, so we're good to go. Field Blower. I do feel like Field Blower could be good to just you know, stop them from having Viridian, which is probably helpful. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to go from here. So, it's cool. Thunder Salts, take that knockout, leave the Viridian. Yeah, it's fine. I don't actually know what I'm playing against, so I don't really want to use the Field Blower until I really figure it out. They may have, like, some sort of uh, crazy wacko things in here that I don't know about. But I'm glad I didn't play that Thunder Mountain, right? You know, they, they have some stadiums. Sung, J2001, do you think Dark Box is a good deck for NAIC? No, unfortunately I do not. I think it's a very fun rogue deck and it was cool to see Grant go on tear with it at the Origin Special event. But I do not, I cannot in good conscience recommend that deck. I tried it uh, actually at the beginning of the stream and it was, uh, it was not good. Yeah, it, uh, it drew poorly. It was, uh, I had a bad time. I had a very bad time. But uh, decks I can re recommend. Let's talk about recommendations for North American International Championships. Pika Ram, specifically Pika Pad, specif specifically this deck, this deck right here. All right, well, this is the deck I would play. I have made that no secret. This is the deck I would play at NAIC. I would play this exact 60. I think that it feels as, you know, as close to uh, kind of, you know, complete to me as it possibly can. Then uh, I think that Reshiram Charizard, also a really good option. Uh, it's a really big, you know, kind of slugfest deck, but definitely can take some huge knockouts, very uh, tough to defeat. So Reshiram Charizard, another great option. I think that Blacephalon GX, uh, that is a fine play, but I think that uh, there are going to be more tricky decks to worry about and you're probably going to want something a little bit more versatile than Blacephalon 
at uh, NAIC personally. I think the Zapdos could be a good call. If you're going to play Zapdos, I suggest, let's see. What do we got? Electro power? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just go. Yeah, we go do that thing. That seems fine. I could actually just full blitz. I mean, that's kind of cool. We full blitz the Macargo and then, you know, go from there. Let loose. Yeah, you probably don't want to let loose. That's fine. Just attach there. Then I could swift run. That's kind of funny. I mean, we're going to go for a tag ball GX. Yeah, let's go for we got We got that. And we could Guzma up. That bad boy over there. And, uh, yeah, that seems fine. I mean, what if they get, like, the absolute sauce off of this, right? I mean, they did stack their deck with that my cargo. Uh, what's the worst that could happen, right? Pull blitz. We'll take that guy out the game. I'm going to accelerate three energy into play. Probably just going to put it on to, yeah, probably just going to put it right onto my Picaram, you know, like a super irresponsible person. Okay. Yes, Blacephalon does lose to... Uh, Blacephalon can lose to Weezing. Zapdos also can lose to Weezing. Uh, that's the thing that I don't like about Zapdos. So, like, if you're talking about, like, even that uh, Zapdos Picaram deck, this version that I'm playing here has a much better Weezing matchup than the Jirachi Zapdos Picaram deck. And I think that uh, it's one of the reasons why I love this list. You're going to have a lot of 50-50 matchups. I'm not going to lie to you. So, like, if you're uh, hesitant about how to play the deck, you could have a bad time because you definitely want to be able to navigate all your matchups appropriately. And a lot of them can be close. But uh, you could beat everything with this deck. You could beat Blacephalon. You could beat Stahl. You could beat Charizard. You could beat... Um, you could beat uh, Zapdos, and you could beat the Zapdos Picarom decks as well. You can beat all of it. It's just they're all pretty close, though. Uh, you could beat Zorark as well. Even with Muck out, you could beat Zorark. There's like, uh, you know, you could even beat that uh, Shedinja Stall thing. You could beat that too. You could really beat all of it. So this is my top pick for NAIC. Charizard is a top three pick for me. I think you some sort of stall deck will do well, right? Uh, for sure. Like, there's probably going to be some sort of stall decks that do well. I think a lot of players are cutting their stall techs. Like, you're not really seeing as many Stealthy Hood stuff going on as you did in, like, the last few weeks or whatever. What's up, Sacra Scoop? Yeah, man, that would be fun. I could see it. It's just um, very busy a lot. That's usually the, the main issue there. But uh, I could definitely see it, man. So thanks for the invite. Yeah, just hit me up. Hit me up. Let me know when you guys are doing it, and uh, we could uh, we could probably make something happen. J Car, thank you for those bits. Let's see other good decks. I wouldn't recommend playing Weezing, though. I think Weezing will be popular. I think the overall, uh, I think people have generally kind of learned how to play against that deck pretty well. So I wouldn't feel confident playing uh, playing Weezing here. I wouldn't feel comfortable playing Baby Blacephalon, though I do think that a Baby Blacephalon deck, I think a Baby Blacephalon deck will do well, right? There will be one that does well, uh, probably. Like, I would guess maybe one or two finish in day two, but I would not suggest playing that deck either just because it kind of can have some, some issues in a uh, consistency fashion. So let's see what we got going on here. I can attach my energy. I can actually get the Coco Prism Star onto the bench, which is interesting just by attaching the energy and using the Coco GX to kind of skirt in. Yeah, let's, uh, let's check out what we get with Nest Ball here. So I also do have Jolteon GX, who could be very good in this matchup for sure. So kind of want to look at that as a potential option. And... Yeah, let's uh, let's just go get the Zapdos. Yeah, kind of like getting the Zapdos. Okay, we're gonna get the Zapdos. We're going to attach this here. We're gonna Arrow Trail. Yeah, we're gonna take that. We're gonna Ultra Ball away these guys, and 
get ourselves the Zero Aura. And then just Cynthia here looking for the energy switch to knock out that Marshadow turn one. And we got the Thunder Mountain. So that'll work. I'm cool with that. Got Thunder Mountain there. That's pretty good. And I can also let loose. I don't necessarily need to. But they do have like a big old hand. And I know that that deck is super inconsistent. So I will. That's fine. Yep. No qualms there. It's another really understated strength of this deck. And I don't know if it's understated or if it's just me, but like the ability to let loose twice. If you're going to NAIC, put two of these bad boys in your deck, dude. Just do it. I mean, it's so unfair, right? It's so unfair the things we can do with that card. Uh, I think it's just absolutely absurd. Let's see, order up. We got this. We do. Okay. Look at this deck. Look look at what we're doing out here. Y'all see this? Y'all see the deck, right? Okay. So we're going to get an Ultra Ball. Cool. And, uh, yeah, let's see. It's fine. Energy Spinner. Get a Lightning Energy. Skirt! And there we go. So... We're gonna go get that to Denny GX, Data Change, Electro Power, cool, sure. And uh, now we're really baking the cake. We're really doing a lot. We're doing the most, even, some would say. Doing the most. I can actually just attack with the uh, Tapu Koko GX, which is cool. Uh, I can Dance of the Ancients. That's kind of neat. So let's Dance of the Ancients and go here. And this turn didn't look like, I mean, look how deep we are in the deck. This turn didn't look like it was going to be this insane, crazy turn one play. But, you know, I mean, we got a turn one attack with a GX Pokemon this game. Pretty insane stuff for sure. So let's, uh, yeah, I kind of like that. Let's just go in with the Tapu Koko GX. We could save the... Zapdos? I mean, I guess, like, we might as well hit with the Zapdos, right? Yeah. Might as well hit with Zapdos. Fine with that. I don't think that they'll actually be able to knock out my Zapdos turn two. So I'm going to, like, kind of wait and see. If they do knock out my... Um, if they do knock out my Zapdos with a... Uh, I guess with that, they would have to get themselves the Umbreon, right? They do knock me out with an Umbreon. That's a little bit of a bummer, but it's fine. Uh, I do have the option to maybe go in with a potential Picaron this turn, which is pretty cool. I could also whip up a Jolteon out of nowhere, which I really like. I just have to go get that. Oh my gosh, Jolteon, bro. Jolteon, let's go. Oh my gosh, if they don't put the Mew down this turn, we just get to go in with Jolteon and just pick these bad boys off. There is no Mew coming down. Oh, let's go. This would be amazing. Let's see. We could... Ah, oh, we're very close. It would be pretty cool, right? So, I think that uh, Jolteon is going to be the person that I... The person. It's not a person. It's a Pokemon. Damage mover. The sauce. The sauce. This person's got the play for NAIC right there. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Just moving all 50 damage under that Spirit Tomb over there. Be a shame if uh, something were to happen to it. <laughs> so, yeah. It's feeling pretty good. I'll diversify tomorrow morning. I will. I, You know, it's been a long weekend where I didn't get to play any peek around. So, we, uh, we only lost one game. The one game that we lost tonight with peek around was a dead draw. It was one game out of like eight or nine. We've won some more uh, so far. So, you know, I think if that, uh, if that doesn't kind of speak about what I, you know, say is like the, uh, you know, the strength of that deck. I mean, that kind of, uh, you know, the kind of proof is in the, uh, is in the results right here. I mean, I don't know. I play PTCGO for like three hours a day. 
Like, and yes, I do play a lot of Picaron. I play more Picaron than anything else. I'm better with this deck than I am with the other decks. So, like, there is definitely some heavy bias going in there. But, like, of all that time that I spent playing standard format, I think that uh, there's a reason I gravitate to this deck, and it's because it has it's the most versatile deck, right, in, uh, in standard format right now. And then also it doesn't have the target on its back. So, like, you've got these two amazing things going for it. It's not being targeted down. People aren't teching their Zorark decks for it, right? Like, no, you got Slow King in the Zorark decks to help beat the Charizard decks, but people are not teching fighting attackers for Picaram right now. So you kind of get to fly under the radar as well, which is just super neat. Definitely into that. And, uh, yeah, just a uh, busted deck. Busted deck. Highly recommend. Now let's... Let's go out with a bang and get bodied by a Charizard deck. Let's go. Y'all suited up, ready for this? We're gonna get absolutely shrecked. I can just feel it in my bones. I've done a lot of, I've done a lot of hype talk, and we're about to get turbo punished for it, for sure. Let loose me into garbage, sir. Let's go, erroneous. Let's go, erroneous. Okay, nah, yeah, yeah, busted deck. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Let's see what you got. Do you have? Oh no. Oh, he's gonna get me on the second one for sure. He's gonna make it. Oh, no, 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 still busted deck. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, double let loose. Lucario is making a comeback. Okay, if there's a Lucario, listen, man, if there's Lucario action going on in Zorak decks, that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, I'm still like, I guess, yeah, and I guess you kind of have to, whoa. You kind of have to deal with the, what a legend. Plays both Let Looses, then Lele's, and gets the Power Plant. What a true legend. True American hero. How do you do it? Yeah, get rid of those. For sure. Okay. And uh, there we go. We're going to Electro Power and Lily for six. Oh, that's not great. Hmm. Huh. What do we do? We need to discard an energy. So we got let loose pretty hard there turn one. The first let loose was like great. The second let loose, mm, got a lily hand, but not much else. They don't really have a lot going on here, but I don't want to let loose them and give them more cards in hand. I've played an electro power as well, which feels pretty bad. I would have to like let loose myself into some absolute sauce here to pull this out. Um, but honestly, this next hand is like not exciting. So yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Doing it. Yeah, I'm familiar. Let them loose. Oh, baby. What do we got here? Nothing, nothing. Yeah, just carry on. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Go ahead. You got it, sir. Carry on. Okay. So that's a big, scary Reshiram Charizard. That's why this deck is so good. I do a lot of talking about how Picaram is good. This deck is very, very, very good. Why? Because you could do that. You could just do exactly what they did. Turn one, go first, let loose Kiawe. I mean, your opponent just might not be able to respond to, you know, you put the ball in their court, they might just fumble it, right? Now, fortunately, we were able to kind of, like, navigate that enough so we didn't get absolutely uh, destroyed there, but uh, we, we actually may. Yeah, we may still get destroyed. So let's see what we got going on here. Um... I think, yeah, we kind of have to go here. We're going to Lily. Oh, that is a bad hand. This is very bad. Yeah, now we're about to just, we're about to eat it for sure. They definitely have a Guzma in that hand. Oh, that hand's got Guzma written all over it. Okay, that's fine. Um, You know... You got it, big scary man. All right. You got it. 
What happens to Reshazard on the totem pole when Kiawe rotates? I think Reshazard and... Oh, get that Guzma. Get that Guzma, dude. Get that Guzma. Go get it. Go ahead and go ahead and get it. I think that Reshazard and Picaron both stay like tier one next format. They're both going to be very good. They're both still insane decks. They could both capitalize on. Okay, I see it. That's fine. They could both capitalize on. Uh... You know, on Jirachi, they could both use custom catchers really well. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, they both used Adene really well. There's going to have to be some very serious non-GX decks that kind of come into focus in order to deal with those. So let's see what we can do here. We definitely were on the, we were on the back foot this game because they got such an explosive start and kind of, were able to prevent us from doing the same. So this is kind of our make it or break it turn here. All right, we got a nest ball. We can get Zapdos and I can poke him a little bit. That's like not the worst thing ever. I don't really want to bench my, let's see, I could, uh, Tapu Koko, Prism Star, attach, energy switch, and I can attack with Jolteon. I'm not really trying to do that. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. I could go Coco GX really only dealing 200 damage. I mean, I might as well attack with anybody else at that point. So I think, like, feeding him the Zapdos is probably where I want to be at. He is down a choice band, also plays Power Plant. Okay, it's all good to know. I kind of want to. I kind of like hope I let loose and that he doesn't have Guzma knock out of my Picaram for game. It's kind of greedy of me to start to power up this Picaram. But, like, I feel like I have to. Dance of the Ancients. Okay. Because at this point, we're like so far behind that we need kind of a miracle here. So I think we need to let loose and hit with Zapdos. Force him, but if we force him onto two prizes remaining, yeah, then he could just Guzma Zero Aura for game. Yeah, we need a lot of things to go very well here. Okay, that's fine. Let's, uh, Let's retreat. Energy switch. Cynthia. And we're looking for a let loose for sure. Um, order pad. Okay. It's pretty good. We grab that. Go get our let loose. It's probably for the best. Because they have a big old hand now, yeah. So we need to kind of try to limit that. Get rid of probably, yeah. Probably those. It's fine, get the let loose, and here we go. Uh, Sick, Peter. Glad to have you on board, man. See, we're down one E power. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think we just let loose here. And then hopefully I can counter a stadium as well. That would be really good. Yeah, we don't have any stadiums down yet, so we could definitely do it. All right, I'll play it. Let loose. Cool. No stadium. But uh, that's fine. It's Thunder's Assault for 110. And then we are a little bit short on what we need to actually knock this thing out. We need to try and keep them from powering up a second Rush's Art on the bench this turn. They really can't do that. 
Let's see. I mean, this is scary here. Hitting the switch, allowing them to go for potentially a Guzma on my Pikachu and Zekrom. That would just be... Oh, if they already got it, that's game, bro. If you got Guzma Choice Band, GG's. And we can see the Choice Band making a big difference here. They got Guzma. I know they do. Oh, they're going for it. Ah, they're going to get it. The Choice Band making a big difference here. They wouldn't have had this play otherwise. So I kind of had to... I had to dig. Nate Dog. Thank you so much, Nate Dog. I'm feeling like he's missed either a slow roll or he missed it. If he missed it, he's in a horrible position right now. Horrible. Because he's got this, he's got no bench space for another attacker. That's insane. Absolutely insane. I think he's just in a game losing situation. Oh my gosh, we're in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, chat. We've got this in the bag. Easy clap. Okay. So. Yeah, we just we just counter that for sure. We go here and we Cynthia. I need one damage buff. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So they've got two prizes remaining. They can't bench an attacker and their Mew. Okay. They can't bench both. So I think we just load up. The active Picaron with full blitz here. We go here and then full blitz for 180. Yeah. And then get together a potential tag bolt for game. It's kind of what it's kind of the wavelength I'm on right now. So let's go. Let's get it. All right. They can't bench Mew and somebody else. Here we go. Let's go. Just like the old days. We've got everything we need here. Bunch of good stuff. They don't play Custom Catcher. They can't Welder. They can't Welder and Kikui in the same turn. There's like no way they can do it. So we should be able to hopefully just hang in there for one more turn and then Tag Bolt for three prizes in game. He's got Welder. He can hit my Pikachu's uh, Zekrom for 200. I know that. Potentially 230 if he has a Choice Band as well. I would be stunned if, you find, if there's something in his deck that allows him to knock out this Pikachu Zekrom. I would be absolutely floored. He's already Weldered. He's got to just pass. He's going to field blower. He can't let loose. I already, he's got a full bench. He, he jammed that bench out going for the win. He has to just outrage me for 30 or I guess GX for 200. Feels okay. And then we just got it in hand. That's it. Shake and bake chat. Shake and bake. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I've always wanted to do this. And I haven't gotten to yet. Well played. Tag bolt. That and the Dedenne. Skirt. Four prize turn. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Man. Tag bolt coming in clutch. And uh, busted deck. So there we go. I think we went like nine and one with Pika Pads tonight, something like that. We were on a five win win streak and then we were on a four win win streak. We lost one game and the only game we lost was to a dead draw to a Salazzle deck. <laughs> what more can you do? We started Tapu Coco GX and we went pass, 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 their turn. You know, and that, and that was it. But this is the list. Uh, this is my favorite deck heading into NAIC. I, no secrets there. I really do love every single bit about it. 
I think the supporter count is like really important. You saw that like the only games you really lose are games where you dead draw. So being able to lean on let loose and then let loose yourself into a draw supporter, that's like the main thing that you want to do in this deck is you want to let loose and you want to hit a draw supporter after you let loose. So having all these draw supporters is really essential. Dedenne GX is draw, but it's not draw support. It's not, it's not like the same thing as just hitting an actual draw supporter or being able to start the game off. Since sometimes you actually start Dedenne GGX, uh, Dedenne GX as well, and then you can't actually use the Dedenne as your draw support when you start it. So lots of different options in the deck. I definitely advise you know practicing with it a little bit, getting used to it, kind of figuring out the different strategies versus different decks if you're going to head to the North American International Championships. Uh, oh, awesome stuff. Thank you, Carl, man, for the kind words and saying you'll give the deck a shot. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning for the morning stream. I'll diversify my lineup a little bit more. I really wanted to take some time here to show off what I consider to be my top deck for NAIC. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that. And I'll catch you here tomorrow morning for the morning spot at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And tomorrow morning, I'll also be giving away some PTCGO codes as well. I've got some codes lined up. In fact, if you're on PTCGO, here's a quick code giveaway. We got like a few codes for the chat. Anybody with some quick fingers really caught you slipping there, you know? I mean, didn't uh, advertise that I was going to be giving away codes. So. I'll, uh, I'll throw a few into the chat, and uh, you guys all have a great night. Take it easy, and uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow morning. Is there anybody uh, anybody we should raid? Anybody online? Anybody I know? Any friends? No, I don't see any, don't see any friends. Well, that's okay. Anyways, you guys rock. Have a great day. Thanks to the mods. Thanks to the subs. Thanks to anybody who donated bits. Zeely at the top of the leaderboard. Love you guys. Take it easy. Peace.